How's it going YouTube? My name is LBN and welcome back to another episode of the A to Z off roll series. And today we have Opwatch Jungle. It's gonna be a fun one. It's definitely gonna be a spicy pick. Now I'll go over the build separately um, a little bit, but I'll also kind of talk about some of the items because with Opwatch, he's not designed for jungle, obviously. I mean, that's the whole point of the series, but he's really not built to jungle very well. Um, he, he also, one thing about Opwatch is on the surface, he's just a burst damage mage, and that's kind of all he offers. However, his build can do a lot of things. It really can. And, and there's a lot of decision nodes that we're going to have uh, throughout building Opwatch. But I've already set out a build path for us, and it accomplishes a lot of things. But the first decision we had to make was what starter item were we going to go? And... Ooh, Okay, we're fine. And the reason why I went Eye of the Jungle instead of Boombas, with Boombas, we would have been making like a, a bigger decision for the late game where you're hoping to get a lot of, you know, auto attacks weaved in between all of your abilities and get your cooldowns reset really nice. And we decided or opted to not go with that. Oh, I accidentally missed sequence there. Thought my three was up first. But we decided to go with Eye of the Jungle because it's going to really help out our early clear because our Eye of the Jungle actually makes our abilities hit harder on jungle camps. So it'll help our jungle clear out a lot, which is going to be our big weakness. We won't really need help in the cooldown reset department or in the damage department come late game because we do plenty. You guys will come to find out. But there's not going to be much action in the early part of this game because Opwatch just does not have gank potential he doesn't have a stun or, or he, I mean, he technically does have a stun. Oh, I say as we actually get some good fight in, but he just doesn't do a lot of, hey, we actually did get a kill. Uh, he just doesn't do a lot of what a traditional jungler does in the early game. Our main role in this game on this off pick is going to be to farm and get to that late stage portion where we actually do one shot. See there, I might clean up some kills here or there. But for the most part, we're just going to be farming a lot. So I'll definitely be cutting out a lot of this video, just trying to give you guys the action. But I will talk about our, our ordering on abilities. So rank one, you guys probably saw that I went our fleeting breath first. It definitely does the most damage at level one. And it's a great option to have at level two. So that's why you go it over, say, your one that spawns two bodies. You'd rather just spawn the one and have the longer cooldown, but more damage from the two. That way, this this button is all of our utility, basically. And that way, we just we offer more in that little 2v2 mid-fight at the start. But it's not very important because, like I said, that's not our strong suit in the game. However, our two is where we want to start putting points into it because that is our burst damage because we blow up any of the, the uh, bodies that we leave behind with the rest of our kit. So every level that you guys see me put a point into my two, that will be a major power spike for us. Also right now, now that we have all of our abilities, we actually did just hit a pretty big power spike and we might be able to clean up. Ugh, we were, okay. So as you see there, I, I did miss my one, two combo. It's kind of, it's awkward to secure at like a side angle. Oh, oh, we found, oh, I thought she was going that way. But it's kind of awkward to secure the one-two punch sometimes. However, what, what you guys will see hopefully a lot in this video is a saving grace in Opwatch's kit is that his three, it leaves behind a dot. And that will kind of be the, what helps us one-shot a lot of the gods. In fact, I have clips of this build performing in some jung jungle practice to show you guys the idea of this build come late game. And you'll see that the three does a lot of work. Ooh, so we're actually coming up on this Yu Wong. Hopefully we can get to him in time to slow him because he just used his immunity. Uh, okay, our two did not quite reach, but we were able to put the three on him, but it's just not going to be quite enough damage. But one thing you can see here is that we're going to be able to box this Nemesis pretty well because of all the self-healing that we do. I mean, she still just nukes us, though, because she's Nemesis, but we can kind of just bait out her shield like we just did. And then go for a kill later on. Come on, minions, don't kill me. Nice. Okay, but what I was saying is we can collect our bodies instead of actually blowing them up. And it'll give us a cooldown reset on our 1 and our 2. But it'll also um, just kind of delay our cooldown. So when we do our big burst that she's expecting, she can just shield it. 
But if we kind of like delay and just collect a few bodies, uh, she'll shield think of we're about to explode the bodies and then we can go in for the kill after that. And that's probably how we're gonna have to counterplay that. Or else our three, um, I keep mentioning that it has utility and the utility is actually gonna come into play this game, I'm pretty sure. So how the three works is, like I said, you leave a dot on an enemy and if they heal, if they get any sort of healing outside of like a mana potion, so like any ability heals them, passives included, then uh, they'll take an extra big chunk of damage and get stunned. So anytime that someone heals themselves from their abilities, we will be punishing that with our three. And they actually do have a surprising amount of self heals on their team. You see there, we actually do come over in time to help collect that Ymir ki kill. But it doesn't look like it. Like they don't have an Aphrodite or a Hell or a Chonga. They don't have like the, the obvious healers. But they do have a nemesis and her shield if she takes damage with the shield up it'll actually heal her so hopefully she pops that shield here so we can show you guys no she knows she knows if she pops the shield it'll do more harm than good Ooh, we were able to steal that oh 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 do you really want to fight me yeah she there we go you see she popped that shield ah oh, she was able to dash out of it that is tragic Ooh. Ah, dang. We sidestepped the Yuan goal, but we weren't able to get out of that damage. But as I come out of spawn, I'll go ahead and start talking about the build a little. So um, I've already talked about the, the, the starter choice. It's just going to help our clear early game where we lack. However, after that, we're going to rush a bit of cooldown. Now we're capping ourselves at 30% cooldown, although the actual cap is 40%. Uh, we will be able to get full 40% with the 500 uh, gold potion. So we, we're only capping ourselves at 30%. And then beyond that, since we're not going to go like a fourth cooldown reduction item or try to rush that 40% with items. Oh my gosh, I'm getting body bottom on my teammate. Oh, that was so troll. Oh, the Chernabog. The Chernabog. But we're not going to be rushing at 40% because that'll allow us to fit even more damage into our build. Nice. We were able to clean that up just nicely. But also, um, we'll get back into the build. But our our three will also be stunning the Surter some. Because his his uh, passive actually does heal him. Dang, if I would have hit my dot on that Ymir, he'd be dead too. But we're going to go into the Spear of Desolation. And that will give us a lot of cooldown. Oh, hold on while we get this kill. Nice. You see there, I did exactly what I said I'd do earlier, where we try to bait out her shield with um, collecting our bodies instead of exploding them, and then exploding the next round of bodies to, to get that kill on her. <laughs> we were able to pop him before he could even react. I don't know what he was doing. It looked like he was emoting. But he still should have been able to go up into his three. But I just went for it. I was like, maybe he doesn't get the three off. Um, but yeah, you see here, this game is going very well. Hopefully they don't surrender. Oh, okay, we got a pause. All right, it was just a pause, a quick one. But the person is back. So luckily they came back. Hopefully we get a full length game. Because this build absolutely nukes. We actually drop nukes with uh, Rata Tehuti late game. But here is the build on screen. I'm going to try to make sure to remember to edit it in. Um, did we go shut him down a bit? I don't think so. But the build is very late game geared because it's very expensive. Like every item in this build is very expensive. So that's why we're going to focus so much on farming. However, we've been kind of lucky this game. We're not supposed to be playing this well or, or performing this well, I guess. The pick is not supposed to be performing this well early. However, like I said, we're using our, our good matchups to try to get ahead and um, also, like I said, I know we've gotten lucky, like the E-Shell saved us at 1 HP earlier. But having a Nemesis as the other jungler is very good for us. Actually, very good for us because we actually do counter her pretty well. As long as we play it right, we should win that 1v1. Maybe not the 1v1, but we should be able to win any 2v2 with her. Yeah, we missed our corpse explosion, but you know what? We got another one. Bang. <laughs> But hopefully you guys are enjoying this editing style. I kind of um, did some practice in, in jungle practice before this game to get a good build for you guys to make sure that this build can one-shot tanks even and squishy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that those little clips. But we're kind of in a, a small little window of like a golden period in our build. We're also kind of ahead everyone on the map except for the nemesis. 
Which is kind of crazy that she's the one on their team that's doing the best. So we got our slow on them. We're able to backstep the ult. I want it. Ah, dang, he took the last hit. <laughs> but yeah, we're able to kind of just like stick to their their carries. As long as we're in like a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-a-few situation, we aren't in much trouble. Or we're not under much threat. However, once we get into these team fights, it can get pretty scary. They have a Ymir who can stun us, and then Nemesis can just like slow us and, and lock us down. And they can kill us pretty easily as an Oplosh. You see here, collecting these bodies will hopefully come up late game with all this cooldown that we're going to have. Oof. I was hoping that we'd be able to hit that Yuwang since I saw him going into his ult. Then I knew he wouldn't be able to use his immunity. Let's see, we can get this counterplay and we can do this all day, Nemesis. We can do this all day. Uh, here she is. Hopefully, oh, we hit her, so she can't blink on us. So that's good. It got a little scary. She definitely could have killed us, I think, if she uh, if she really wanted to. But I think she was afraid that she would die on the return. And that's kind of uh, where we land, is we, we just do a lot of return damage. And people are going to be diving us all game. I mean, we're a flashy opwash that can put out a lot of damage. They're going to want us dead. So um, that's what we hope to do, is just kill them before they kill us. Um, but let's go and talk about why would you ever play Oplash Jungle. Well, it's it's not anything that I would take into ranked. There will be some uh, like off-roll things in this series that you'll see that I would take into ranked. However, this is just something that I like to do um, in casual games, and just it, it really can clean house, but it can also just you know sh shit the bed, for lack of a better term. Um, but you, you really lack what the role of jungle wants to do. And that's just like strong ganks locked down with big follow-up damage. You really lack that. However, you have that massive burst of damage that if you can kill them before they can react, it kind of accomplishes the same thing. Think about like an Awilix coming up behind you, knocking you up and then flipping over you getting that one shot potential while keeping you locked down the whole time. We can't do that, but we can just one shot someone that's not paying attention. And that's kind of where we fill uh, the jungle role, like in team fights and stuff. Uh, so that's why we're building like full percent pin because we wanna be able to shock even the tanks. We're building a little bit of flat pin, but just pure raw damage. We are not even gonna try to play a little safe because the moment we play safe, oh my god, they just, they just like, they wanted that guy dead. But um, the moment we start to play even a little bit safe is the moment that our builds, or our, our pick, stops working. Okay, we're going to help him out. It's never a 1v1 in Conquest. Okay, we weren't able to save him. However, we might be able to turn this around. Yeah, the dot. You see there, the dot. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot of damage. But it adds up. And I just realized I've been putting points into my one and not my three. I normally max my two and then my three next. Because that dot damage will save you so much more than the one damage will help you out. Uh, but it turns out I've just been brain AFK and putting points into my one. Maybe it's been helping me though. Maybe I should do this more often. But if I were you playing this or picking up this, this pick and this build, I would absolutely uh, max the three second. Okay, they're definitely trying to kill me here. Let's see if I can kill someone in return. No, but we we I mean we put out some big damage. I you know, I stepped way too far out. I was in a horrible position, and I'm kind of in like that downward slope in my build right now because we just we're picking up Charons just now, and it still doesn't really do much for us at this moment. So I definitely shouldn't have like even engaged there. But the moment they saw me, they turned on me like a zombie movie and absolutely clapped me. And that's kind of what we expect when we don't play with our team as this pick. It's going to be very important going forward. Ooh, okay. So I'm, I'm sitting here just trying to finish out my build and get some farm going. This Nim blink ulted me. actually forced my beads. But the good thing about this pick is we can just get all of our health back from our corpses. 
and come back into the fight. Hopefully the fight is still going because we're we're ready to blast. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, we swerved that Yuang ult. And he took half his health from our combo. We don't want to get frozen. We're also losing right tower. Ooh, this is not good for us. Just stay on the side of the fight and get some return damage off. Do exactly what we want to do. Oh, pff, I just thought I was pressing my three. Okay, we're missing everything, so we're just going to ult for the secure. Ooh, that was rough. We lost our right tower, but we have to make more come out of this fight for us. We're just going to stay on this side of him so he can't wall us. We're going to slow him. Nice, nice. Okay, good cleanup in the fight. We did lose our T2. And I did miss, like, so many abilities there, but... It's okay. It's not the worst fight I've ever been a part of, unfortunately. Maybe we could even... If we get that slow off, might be able to... Oh, come on, die to the dot. Oh, it's not enough. It's just not enough. We gotta stay in line with this. Ooh, that was enough, though. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Millions dead. Millions dead. Oh, no, she got me. Oh, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I know I'm so dead. She, she played it how she should have. I shouldn't have corpse exploded. Uh, you see there, that is... I've shown you guys both sides of this little matchup here. It's a little mini game. Does she hold her shield? You guys probably just saw, like, every emotion on my face there. Because, like, that was such a swingy fight. I had no idea which way to look. But hopefully it was entertaining. Because, oh my god, my heart was pounding. I didn't know what to even say. We were trying to help out our teammates. Trying to one-shot people. But in the, in the end, we got got. Which is unfortunate because we knew how to play that matchup. We just did not do it. Uh, but normally, I would try to ant. I would try to build against this this comp and try to build like maybe here I'd go divine ruin and then gem of iso because gem of iso would anti shield. It would apply an anti shielding debuff for the nemesis. Um, but Ishell just said she would do that. She just said we're gonna build anti shield. And uh, we have a build planned. We have a full-on blaster build planned, and Gem of Iso is not in that equation. Uh, but that is another thing is, is there's, like I said, there's so many different ways that you can build this god. And one of them is to be like a utility mage, and that's why you see him in the aisle. Uh, I ulted way too late. But one of the ways is to be like a, a full-on utility mage, going like full tank, full cooldown, but building like Divine Ruin or Gem of Iso. Ooh. Sweet, we got a YouTube sub. Um, but yeah, you see that build most commonly. And we could have built like that. Come on, let's get that one shot. Come on, bang! Okay, nice. I just wanted to clean him up before his team gets here because we're likely very dead. Moments before disaster right here. And here she is. Yeah, there was no way we were surviving that. Um, but with our build, what what the plan is, these last two items are super important for the one-shot potential. So Spear of the Magus is going to apply a debuff to them. The plan here, as you've seen in those clips against the bots, is we're going to throw our one. It's going to slow them and secure the rest of our combo, our three, and then our two, our explosion. So the plan is that Spear of the Magus will apply a debuff, making the rest of our, our big burst do more damage. So they're going to take more damage from us. And then the final item is going to be Rod of Tehuti. So this will help those dots. Like if, if our one shot doesn't completely one shot, say the Ymir, for example, the Rod of Tehuti damage bonus at the end will help that dot tick harder. And it's going to be very important for securing these kills. And it should help us in like 1v1 scenarios against uh, the Nemesis. But on top of that, Rod of Tehuti's uh, Calamitous Rod of Tehuti is so amazing for one-shot builds. And although we don't have like what Yuwon has, he can root us and then that, that meter will drop on us. Uh, we don't have something quite like that. We do have the slow. And if the slow is good enough to secure the rest of our kit, ooh, I missed. Come on, autos, hell yeah. Uh, but if the, if the slow is good enough to secure the rest of our kit, it better be good enough to, to secure some Calamitous Rod of Tehuti. Step in those corpses. Ah, it wasn't enough. 
Alright, we're at the tail end of this fight, and it's kind of a weird one. Is that enough? Alright, I need some help. Cthulhu, help. Help, Dad. It was not enough to, to one-shot the, uh, the Cernos. Ooh, nice. Okay. We don't have to one-shot people if our team is popping off, but this guy's about to land back in, so we've got to get some healing off in the meantime. Is that enough damage? We do a lot of damage. He kind of just sat in our ult, too. Ooh, we missed the three. That might end up mattering. It didn't. Okay. Yeah, we can do a lot of damage if they don't look at us. If they don't look at us, we are the scariest thing in these team fights. As you guys see there, we can nuke a backliner and just tickle a tank to death if we need to. So we're getting even closer to finishing out this build, which I'm so happy for. I mean, I was afraid that this game would end before we would even get to finish our build, but we finally are at five full items. We don't have the glyph, the calamitous rod, we don't have our starter. Ooh, a fight is breaking out. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're going to focus the Surter because he is on us. But when we get dove, we can just throw our corpses and just heal off of them. And hope that that's enough. Let's look for a one-shot, though. Oh, no, he died before. Okay, we did get a kill. I thought that was about to be the one-shot. Okay, Yu Wang's dead to that for sure, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, dang, she got stunned. Okay, we have ult here, though. Nice! Triple kill, we did it. Okay, we can push mid. And then we can go left. That was a great fight for us. That's huge. Well, see there, we're top damage. So it's looking like it's working, dude. off flash jungle's kind of the truth. Maybe you should take this drink. No, I don't want to be responsible for that. But I'm having a good time, and I feel like there are some counter matchups where Opwatch is kind of the truth, but maybe not in the jungle. I do think there's a reason why he's been played more in the support than he is in mid, because you just got to build him tanky in his three. That stun works very well in some matchups. Dang, we're still not quite one-shotting the tanks. We're not doing any damage to the tanks, actually, which kind of goes to show you guys, what do you think the jungle practice enemies what do they have built because if you're able to one shot that that tanky ymir then maybe it's not like a built tanky i don't know do they even have items i don't know i don't know it's a learning experience making videos using those guys but um maybe we just drop olten back here because i don't want to get into another fight without full build yeah let's just back off a bit Ooh, let's pick up this buff don't mind if i do okay now we're we're actually full build well technically we still need the 500 gold pot but calamitous done and our protector of the jungle done now why protector of the jungle this just helps our one shot potential uh if we fight in the jungle we have in insane one shot potential and, and uh opwatch is already great at fighting in the jungle because of all these small corridors like imagine me throwing my bodies or my corpses through this and then throwing my three in this little pit and then exploding it all insane value in the jungle and then it will also help us with our fire giant fights which we're kind of getting to that point in the game where the fire giant fights are about to come so now we'll be able to help out a bit more in that see how much the dot does oh, calamitous oh my god that just my my three alone almost did half of his health and he took the nuke from the rod of tahuti that was awesome yeah, my poke's better, you Wong. My poke is better. Oh, this god is so much fun. And they're afraid to step up. Okay, we are losing our base. They're, they're cracking into it. Okay, we can get kind of gone on here, which... There we go. But we just gotta turn around, walk sideways so the Yu Wong ult doesn't push us. And then, uh... Ah, oh, dang. Couldn't get our dot on that guy back up and assess what's going on in this fight we'll take that kill and we're full health again hey okay so our ult you see there we kind of create like a no play zone and no play zones i'm sure you can imagine from the enemy junglers perspective are not fun uh you asked that nemesis if she had fun in that fight i doubt she says yes or even maybe because she kind of just went on us and found out what <laughs> the calamitous is sick oh my god okay 
yeah you see there that slow and especially if, i mean we did kind of catch them off um by surprise that slow can be enough to secure things like calamitous rod all right let's let the C cthulhu tank it But you see in these fights, our, our ult, it doesn't just do damage. Our ult actually applies anti-healing, which is really big. You see there, healing reduction 20% per times that they get hit by one of those little bodies. Ooh, 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 she might be dead to the dot. Ah, she would have been dead to the dot, dang. But she died nonetheless, so we take those, we take those. But our ult does apply anti-healing. Like I said, they don't have a healer on their team comp. They do have Nim, whose shield can heal them for a lot. They do have Surtur, who can heal up a lot in a team fight, especially if he went. He did not go the life sealing item. Uh, but they also have a Hunter, who most likely built. Uh, he's dead. They had a Hunter. No, but the the Hunters always go life steal. So any amount of life steal baked into a kit. Is huge, and you see there we're on a six kill streak. We take those, we take those all day. And now Tron is assembled, we are full build, ready to blast. And hopefully, we don't just die now that we're full build and we can actually get some value off in these fights. Let's actually ward, let's be a good teammate. But now is the time we need to start setting up around FG. Get our team in on that. Hey, another subscriber. Oh my god. Of course it would happen while I'm uh, while I'm recording a video. But yeah, hopefully the enemy team comes and contests this because our fire giant fight is insane. We have a Cthulhu who, who just has massive area control. We have Opwash, myself, who has, once again, massive area control and area denial. Like you saw when that nemesis tried to dive us. We can tell them, no, you guys cannot stand here. This is our space. Um, and speaking of that, this Yuwang is getting a little frisky. He's got his hands out, his gloves up, and I take that as a, a sign. You know what, Yuwang? You step up and your tank finds out. You see just how much damage we do, even to tanks. Surtur, go home. Oh, we missed. So maybe, maybe you can stay here a little bit. All right, he's going in our back line. This game is coming to an end. Oh my God. Just like that, you see this comp, this enemy comp cannot keep up with all of our damage. Oh. Oh my god, who got the quad? Was that E-Shell? Oh my god, we absolutely, we don't even need Fire Giant. We just killed the enemy team. Holy, we went 15 and four to top it all off. I would call this a success. And if you guys think so too, then make sure that you hit like if you like the video, if you like this build, like seeing off meta picks, not just your standard picks, your, your standard meta picks, make sure and like the video so I know that you guys like this series. And also make sure you're subscribed because we are only in the A's of this series. There is so much more fun builds and picks to come. Guys, my name is LBN. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know who is in the alphabet next. Maybe I should have looked into that, but um, you guys will know. Actually, we can just do that right here. So I'll see you guys in the Amaterasu video. I love Ama. Let's go and look at our damage. I forgot to check that history. And we went and did a ton of damage. 42k damage, 43k Oh my god. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to do all that sellout stuff. Comment your favorite kill in this video. Did I get an actual one shot? Let me know. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.